Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I know we're getting ready for uh, Christmas, even though we haven't even passed Thanksgiving, but <laughs> I just did Olaf, and I, I know we're gonna do Anna and Elsa. Um, I already did that tutorial, so I thought this would be perfect. Um, I think, you know, whatever you do the huge off the mat ones, um, you always need accent pieces that are flawless. So I thought it'd be really cool to do snowflakes, make them really big, but not off the mat. So 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And then um, I thought it would be kind of cool to maybe um, put the names in the middle. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's go to images. I do have Cricut access. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's just easier to find images when, you know, when you're looking for it as opposed to uh, constantly downloading, you know, because when you're downloading them for free, they come in such huge packages sometimes. And it's like, I don't want as cool it is, as it is to get 100 free images. Now I've got to figure out which ones, upload it and all that good stuff. So anyway, I do like this. Um, all right. So let's I typed in snowflakes. And the one I wanted to do is, did I already pass it? It was in a group of four. Oh, this one right here. So what you do is you select it and then insert images. And I'm just going to make it bigger, easier for us to see. The two that I really liked are these two dark gray ones. So I'm going to go to ungroup. Um, and you can see they're grouped by twos. I don't want these two at all, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm left with these two. I do want to make them separate. So what I'll do is um, go to shapes. Um, doesn't matter what shape it is, as long as it covers your whole image for us to slice it out. So watch when you put this circle over the other one, in case you don't know how to do this, um, you highlight the two and you slice. And then now you're going to have two separate snowflakes, which is what we want. And the slicing results, you can just get rid of. We don't need it. Okay, I like these two because when I saw it, I thought this would be cool just to put an initial. Um, so like, you know, a C or an S. So what we'll do is um, we'll make both of these 11 and a half inches. That way we don't have to slice it. So I always go to the bigger one. So um, this one, the height is longer than it is wide. So I'm gonna type in 11 and a half. And then over here, we're going to do 11 and a half. And let's work on this one first, because obviously you know how to insert a, a letter in here and then we'll weld it. But what you might know is how to make that little um, uh, middle part empty and then you can type in a name. So uh, what you do is go to shapes and I want to basically make a big rectangle in the middle. So I'm going to insert a square. Now a square is obviously all four sides are the same. Um, so we want to unlock this image so that we can make it long. And then what I want to do is I basically want to make this in the middle. So I like that. And you want to make it wide past your snowflake. If you really want to make this perfect, you can highlight both items and then go to align and you can center. So now it's going to center perfectly in the middle both ways. And then you're going to go to slice. So when you slice it, we get rid of everything that we don't need. So we're going to just pull all this stuff out. And then now you have a center. So let's go to text. I'm doing my daughter's class and I also love these for gift tags because I think they are just, they're unique, glitter paper. People think it's so cool and you don't even need to put your name on it because they'll remember that you gave it to them. So I'm gonna do my daughter's name, Charlotte. If I can type tonight. Okay, I like this one. This one is a font that I downloaded. So it's ice cream. So here we go, we're gonna make it bigger. Now the problem with her name is usually it's very long, right? I like this font because I'm gonna do the same thing as I did earlier with the square and turn it into a rectangle. I'm gonna unlock the image. But before I do that, um, you know, design space always kind of makes it really, um, there's a lot of spacing in between the letters. So I do like to go to my letter space and, um, 
make it less uh, less spacing in between each letter. Sorry, I'm like losing my my brain today. So I feel like this is a good size. Um, so I'm gonna go to unlock at this point and I wanna make it long because I want it to touch my bottom and my top. That way this is one, um, one image. So I'm gonna weld everything in a second. So I, I think that's a little bit too big. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then now what I'm gonna do is go to shapes, insert a square, and again, I'm going to unlock this because I want two skinny lines that I'm going to basically add to the top of this snowflake right here. And then I'm going to duplicate it so that it's exactly the same and I'm going to put it down here. So you can kind of see, um, I think I can go, I can make Charlotte shorter. Because I don't want, I don't want the name to be lost. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, I need to make it just a little bit longer because I want the top to touch. So it's one one image. So it looks like the C is a little bit short. So I'm going to ungroup this the name and move, physically move the C up a little bit. So now it's touching both the top and bottom. Um, same thing with the E. The E needs to be up a little bit more. Um, I think the T's look good. Let's move this O up a little bit more. Oops. Okay, so you kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I think, actually, I probably should have moved all the letters up a little bit more, it seems like. Okay, so now that we're good, what I like to do is, darn it, I should have done it before. Um, let's select the two rectangles and go to align and let's center it horizontally. And actually so hit the shift key and also select the snowflake and let's align all of that center horizontally. So other than my name, because I had already ungrouped my name, so I can't do that. But now this is all nice and even, and then click on weld. Oops, it welded everything but the name. Now I can add the name and weld. And there, now you have this beautiful snowflake with the personalized name in the middle. And you can either, um, you know, put this on your door, on your decoration, on your chimney, whatever it is, not chimney. Would it be chimney? Sorry, I was not born here. So I sometimes my vocabulary is crazy. Um, so let's see this. I think it looks great. It's perfect for gift tags too. It's really big. Think of this, this is one and a half by 11 and a half, okay? It may look small on this screen because I only have my screen at 50%. All right, so let's move that one aside. I love that. I'm going to make that. This one, I did find um, a font that I liked earlier. So let me move my face. And let's X out of this. And it was Alexis. Mm. And it's a free font. I like it because it's script. And then I'm going to do an S. Okay, so here we go. It's super small. We'll make it big. And I wonder, is there a bold? No, there isn't a bold. Okay. Um, and I feel like I want to tilt this one a little bit more like that. It's the way I would write an S. Um, I kind of want to make it bigger because I want this line to touch this. So I wonder if I can... There, if I did that. That sort of looks like an L, doesn't it? You know what, let me change this to an M because I know somebody with the letter M that I can do. Okay, here, this one's better. Okay, so you want to make, to make the M really stable and strong, you want it to connect to this circle in a couple of places. So 
by doing it like this, this is all touching, this is touching, this is touching a little bit too much actually, and over here. So I tempted to unlock it, make it like that, and kind of mess with the size, because M's you can do. Um, okay, let me move this up a little bit more. And all right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm just going to weld it. So when I weld it, my M is touching. So it's pretty good. You know, it's touching in a lot of places. So it's very stable. So when you cut this, um, you're not going to lose that M, which is, you know, another another win right all right that's all there is to doing these i hope that was easy and i hope to see lots of these ornaments and i highly recommend um, using like a glitter white or a glitter like light blue cardstock or silver i think it'll look amazing with all your other christmas decor okay thanks guys bye